Hello, my name is John Mad Dog Call, and I am the president of Project Kawan. Today we're going to be talking about some of the many goals of Project Kawan, particularly the first one, which is to create millions of new private sector high tech jobs in Latin America and many millions more around the world. The structure of Project Kawan is to create millions of Project Kawa professionals. Each one of those is an independent business person. Each one will be supplying good support to local customers. Each one will be generating income from a monthly service charge and will be augmented by various other potential jobs they could have. Project Kawa itself is a nonprofit educational organization. It gives education and upper level support to the Project Kawa professionals, and this is given free of charge. There is no charge ever levered against the Project Kawa professionals themselves. There are many different versions of Project Kawan, each treating one of the individual project goals. However, today we're going to be talking about version 0.0, .0 which is the first goal and first program of Project Kawan. This is to provide local entry-level support and services for small businesses. In the short term, this will create a part-time job for university students. In most universities, federal and state throughout Latin America, the tuition for the university is free of charge. However, 40% of the qualified students still can't take advantage of that uh, tuition and that program because their parents are too poor to get the apartment in the city, the food, the transportation, the computers, and everything else that they need. So 40% of these students have to turn down the opportunity to have a university education. Project Kawan will help them generate the money so that they can get those things. And then after university, it could turn into either a full-time job or something which the student can sell off to another incoming student and be able to start the rest of their life. The long-term goals of Project Kawan, which are not addressed by this talk, will remain the same. What types of services would the student be offering to the small business person? Installing new hardware, perhaps a new computer or a new disk drive. Installing new software or updating drivers or updating patches to the software. We do prefer that the students work with free software because we believe in that. But we do also recognize that a lot of companies and businesses use Microsoft and Apple. Another service could be to set up networking, perhaps a wireless hotspot or some type of wireless service. You can remove viruses and spam from the customer systems. You can set up small server systems so that they can share files and printers and things like that. You could do web design for them. You could recable their office for greater efficiency. Oftentimes, the cabling, the wires have been in the office for a long time, and they are kind of a mess. Straightening them out would allow them to have better control over their wiring. You could also educate the small business person or the end user in how to use their system. And you would provide end user support for them, fixing bugs or installation problems. Why would university students be doing this? A lot of the students already have the technical information they need to do the job. They've been fixing their family's computers or fixing their neighborhood's computers since the age of eight. However, they need money to continue with the university. And often they don't know how to price or work their services or create a contract. Project Kawa, we feel, fits this student's current and future career path better than other student jobs, like a short order cook or waiting on tables or being a night clerk at a hotel. We also believe that the Project Kawa professional can have flexible hours with their customers. Negotiating with their customers is the best time for them to come in and do the work. This could also be a full or part-time job for single parents. 
people who have to take care of their kids at home, a lot of the work could be done over the network. It could also be for physically challenged students, physically challenged people, people in wheelchairs, people who have difficulty in getting around. A lot of times these jobs do not require speed or physical strength. Many students are already doing these type of jobs, but we, they do them informally in what we call break and fix. They wait until the computer system is broken and not working, and then they go in and fix it. Often this is a time critical type of fix. The business needs the computer, and it may not come in an opportune time for the student to be able to do this work. This could also be illegal because the student is not being paid in a formal basis for this. Project Kawa will help you set up a legal business. The benefits to small business are that their computer hardware and software are kept up to date. They have the latest security and bug fixes applied to it. The student will check the logs to make sure that the computer is operating properly. And this will reduce the amount of downtime of the computer systems as preventive maintenance. The business might be able to save money on purchasing software and hardware because the student uh, knows what the cheapest and best uh, hardware and software is at the present time. Free and open source software could be used wherever possible to help the customer be more flexible and to be able to save money. This is local support that comes to the business, not the business having to carry its broken computer to the repair depot. And they can have a better backup and better system support than hiring the, quote, skinny gig kid down the street. The benefits to the community is to allow a greater number of good students to study computer science and computer engineering and to participate in a university education. It helps to develop local high-tech jobs that keeps the support money in the local environment instead of sending it to Microsoft or Amazon or one of the companies in the United States. It helps to develop good local support infrastructure. It allows small businesses to be more efficient in the use of their computers and efficiency is money. The target market for professionals is the small business, and we emphasize the small. Small business might be one to 10 people in an office. They can't afford a full-time systems administrator. The professionals form contracts with the business person, the business owner, for a set amount of time and money every month. Let's estimate that the student would need five to eight uh, customers perhaps three to four hours a week. So if it's eight customers, four hours a week, that's 32 hours a week. However, it's, it's only five customers, three hours a week, it's 15 hours a week. So it could be very flexible. We want the customers to be local to the home or the school. So the student doesn't have to take a bus or a subway to get there and that the transportation time to and from the student's house or to and from the customer's business is not included, that the customer gets three or four good hours of the student doing work in their business every week. We estimate that between 500 and 800 US dollars per month could be generated from this without being a strain on the small business person. And this might come out to be about a hundred US dollars per month per customer. The professionals can also take the break and fix walk in business if they wish, if they have some spare time. This is not exclusive of that. The amount of training required for this is minimal. Most of the students already know how to do the things they would be doing for their customers. Project Cowan helps to provide guidance to them with business type of tasks, how to set up a contract, how to do advertising, how to engage with a potential customer, how to subcontract to people when you don't know how to fix the problem, but they do. Project Sakawa would supply business management training when needed. 
Project Cower itself is a nonprofit educational organization, but it also provides backup infrastructure and support to help the students with their day-to-day -day tasks. For example, a bug tracking system that the student can put problems into the bug tracking system to get uh, answers to. A CRM or ERP system to help the student manage their business. Forums to ask questions of. Technical manuals that the students need. Documentation. And all of this would be available online, where pointers to it, from the Project Cowell website. Project Cowell would also help to develop new products and services which could be sold to customers. Over time, more and more skills are learned by the student. The student will have new services and products to offer to their existing customers, being able to generate even more money. Existing customers allow for quality purchase of equipment and software. The professionals will build up a business that could be expanded to full time if they wish, or sold to new university professionals as the students graduate and start to live their real lives. Now recently, universities have become interested in Project Kawa because they sometimes teach professional studies. And using Project Kawa, instead of making up some type of toy business, is of interest to these universities. Cities and townships are also giving courses in entrepreneurship to students, and Project Kawan could be used as an example of this entrepreneurship. Even more recently, a program called Caninas Lucos, which produces and manufactures small computers inside of Brazil, allows products to be offered to customers. Udu is a point of sale and ERP system that can run on a small computer like a Raspberry Pi or a Labrador. It, is, it allows you to create a complete cash register, which you've seen at McDonald's or at the food stores, that allows you to keep track of your inventory. Kodi is a multimedia system which runs on these small computers, and it could also be set up to allow you to have security, uh, Internet of Things control of your house, voice over IP calls, and act as your first connection to the Internet. Freedom Box is another piece of software to set up a small, secure home server rather than keeping all of your most important documents at Google or Amazon or one of the other cloud services. All of these are software products made from free software and a small, inexpensive single board computer that could then be sold to customers. More products will be created over time from the over 430,000 different projects which are out on places like GitHub and GitLab. Why is Project Kawa diverse? First of all, we have a code of conduct. We expect people to act as professionals. We expect people to be welcoming to their fellow workers. It is a community. And in that community, we do not care about nationality. We do not care about race or sex or sexual orientation or religion or age, as long as you are legal in your country. We believe in the open source mantra of show me the code, show me the service. That's all we really care about. You will be your own boss, and the only person you have to please is yourself and your customer. You can even use Windows and Apple. We are that diverse. If you would like to find out more about Project Kawa, you can go to our website. Project Kawa is in beta mode right now. We are improving the website as we go along. But we welcome you to join with Project Kawa and also to be able to make money and get to your university and have a great life. Thank you very much. My name is John Mad Dog Hall, and I'm the president of Project Kawan.